The Royal Artillery went into this cup final clash overwhelming favourites, having featured in the previous five inter-core finals, lifting the trophy just 12 months ago. But the defending champions found themselves behind inside the opening minutes of the contest. Remy fullback Dominic Carroll slotting over a penalty. A short while later, the scores were level. With the Gunners' pack getting the edge over their rivals at scrum time, they were awarded a penalty. Royal Artillery fullback Harry Whittington was on target with the boot to make it 3 all. The Remy had missed two further penalty attempts by the time they scored the game's opening try. Deep inside Gunners' territory, back row man Peake pulled a blinder to cut a dash to the artillery line and with brute strength that saw him claim a converted effort to put his side 10-3 up. Their second try just before the break was all about power and pace. In a move fresh from the training ground, Belieber cut in off his wing running at the heart of the Gunners' defence. He popped a pass to Ure Mua Salah, who muscled his way over for an unconverted try. The Rooney went to the break, 15-3 in front. But the start of the second half saw the artillerymen blast out of the blocks as they set about to fight back. Fine work from forwards and backs and a neat pass in the midfield from fly half Owen Davis set winger Connor O'Reilly free and he darted in at the corner from unconverted try. A short time later, the artillery reduced the deficit to just two points when they crossed for a second try. On this occasion, O'Reilly turned provider, feeding Whittington, who flopped over for the unconverted effort to make the score 15 points to 13. With the outcome still in the balance, things were building towards a tense conclusion. Then the artillery were awarded the penalty close to the Remy posts. As the shadows on the pitch lengthened and amid a swirling breeze, Whittington managed to slot over the kick and the Gunners had the lead for the first time. Now all the artillery had to do was close the game out. But an unwelcome gust gifted the Remy a breakout opportunity and they surged upfield, hoping to snatch victory at the death. Matters were made worse for the artillery when they lost two men in a minute. Gibbs had already been sent to the Sinbin when, 60 seconds later, experienced prop Ken Dowding followed suit, reducing the defending side to just 13. The beleaguered outfit continued to put their bruised bodies on the line and thwart their Remy rivals from taking their title. The Gunners held on 16 points to 15. So delight for the artillerymen as they retain their crown in a tournament that in recent seasons has become their own. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot. Free chance to the general! Hip! 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 Let's go, boys! Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this.